featuring Jack White from the Light Stripes and Nora Jones. So basically the experience is uh, moving you through a variety of dream, uh, dream worlds. And it's involving composited video, animation, and 3D graphics all into one space. So I'm gonna give you a little demo of what that looks like. So the experience starts off with some 2D animation. It's all going with the music. And it allows you to actually look around and see par uh, various parallax and panorama views. You can also apply real-time shaders like I'm applying this pair right here. Uh, and it, as it goes through the storyline, you'll see here it's driving through this car, and it's going to dump us into some amazing 3D interactive worlds. I'm just going to let this play through. detection, spawning animals and separate animated elements, uh, and interacting with the environment in real time while being rendered live. And you can explore these various uh, dream realities uh, and kind of progress through the storyline. The other really cool thing is you can actually contribute to the storyline yourself. So I'm going to skip ahead to the UGC tool. And here you can choose what type of element you're going to contribute to the experience. And there's a basic voxel building tool. And you can begin to build your own models right into the experience itself. So we're really excited about the types of things people are going to uh, create with this. But I think equally exciting to the project is actually the process behind it. So the entire thing is open source, and so we released a bunch of demos that show exactly how we put it together. So on this tech page, you'll see some demos. Like there's this GLSL shader demo with hatching a uh, glow shader. There's normal mapping, showing how we did some of the video compositing, depth of field. Uh, there's some really cool demos on here, and they're all open source, so you can view the code uh, directly within the site. So we hope, hopefully you'll get a chance to take a look at some of those. We also built this model viewer, which allows you to take a look at some of the assets that are part of the project. And you can toggle things like uh, texture, you can do wireframing, see uh, how the models were built. I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, my favorite models. This is a bear that morphs into a horse. Uh, and we, wow. I mean, this is really my favorite. This is a buffalo that goes into a tarantula. The tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> And you can actually do some fun stuff like control the morphing speed yourself, your JavaScript, and uh, some really cool things. Uh, and a lot of this was built with a library that I want to give a shout out to called 3.js. Some of you may know the developer, Mr. Duke, and he's worked with us to build this. I definitely recommend you check it out. So the bottom of the page is a link to that. Uh, we're also going to put up a link to processing.js, which is a great starting point for people who are interested in learning how to use WebGL. Uh, and again, the code base is linked down there. So we're going to be launching the project really soon. You can keep your eyes out at ro.me as the URL. Uh, and yeah, if, you have, if you're interested in checking out other WebGL demos, we also have uh, a section on Chrome Experiments. So if you go to chromeexperiments.com forward slash WebGL, you can see a number of these demos as well. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.